Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? doing today um is kind of continuing on the same tangent we were on with the last episode um you know i'd really like to play around with some older blocks and some newer blocks and mix those up and see what that sounds like for a minute so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna bring in some old stuff And some new stuff. And uh, let's just get into my 6.3 library here. Bring in a couple of things I know I'm going to want. So let's do the NHT oscillator and the MX filter to start. So uh, we know we're going to need a little bit of space this Um, but let's see if we can collapse that guy let's see if we can just use if at all possible uh, if we can just use the panel and we're not going to use a scope for today um, but let's go ahead and start getting some other stuff in here Um, so we'll go blocks in the primary library and we'll go, um, toy box free pack. Uh, and let's go with our friend, the regular oscillator. And let's get the regular filter in here as well. And let's also get some sequencers in here. So we know we want a note sequencer. And I think that's what we know we want for now. And then here's the output. Um, and we also, I wanted to mess with, so let's look at utility. We may want some yeah a four channel mixer this guy uh so let's get that happening and then let's see about a vca might need a couple of these actually and let's see about a um Envelope. Where is that? Modulation, probably. Yep, envelope. So here we go. Um, all right. So now we're cooking uh, with quite a few things. And let's also, I wanted to pull in from the Blocks Primes menu. Uh, what was it? I think it was the multi wave. Yeah, wanted to mess around with this as well. All right, so quite a few things to mix together here. And let's see how well we can do it. All right, so we know this is going to go, let's see, out one, out two, out three, out four. No, this is going to be a mixer for all the oscillators probably. So we're going to go output one, two, and done. And if we open up the structure view for just a moment, we see that, um, you know, whatever this is connected to, we got to hide all this stuff <laughs> and bring it because this structure is going to look like madness here in just a few moments. going to look like unorganized madness 
which I don't uh, typically like when building it in Reactor. But the cool thing is that we're going to see uh, how well we can not have to work within the structure view as much as possible. Um, so that's the that's the key or that's the game here in this case. So let's let's close the browser for now. We may need to open it back up. Um, and then let's see about our oscillator section. So we have this oscillator, we have this oscillator, and uh, let's go ahead and get. Well, um, I want actually the note in of the pitch to control the multi-wave. So let's get that in here and let's open our browser back up because we want to make sure each of these oscillators have a filter. So let's let's get a filter on to uh, this guy here. Let's see what filters we got. Oh, we got the MX filter. What other filters? We have from our friend, Mr. Jonathan Tremblay. We have the DT filter, and I think that's relatively simple to wire up. So let's see what that's like. Okay, so let's show the B view here. Let's make sure. Okay, view B. All right, so we're going to have to go into the structure view for a moment and get this set up real quick. Uh, but let's go to the B view of the DT filter. And let's get these controls set up, just like last time in the uh, Port Properties menu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and and I think I actually got that accidentally set up in the A view. So let me just make sure. Yeah, I did. So let me get that back to none. And then in the B view, this is where we want it shown. And then that's going to be port. And let's get these ports set up. B view. And everything is unlocked, so we are set to go. And just like in the last episode, and, uh, you know, this is the filter that I would like to use. So we're just going to do the work real quick. And it shouldn't take long. As you can see, if you're used to kind of doing it, then you know, uh, you know, about where to go from a kind of a building standpoint because uh, it's real easy you know again you're just to kind of maybe walk through it for anyone that's perhaps listening you should really um, you know you should really check out the uh, YouTube page and uh, you can see a full view of what I'm doing uh, but essentially I'm on the uh, structure view and I click on the port within the structure view and I click on port properties and then within the visible or view section of the, uh, the visible section of the view tab, uh, it's set to the off position and that's when I change it to on and that's it. And uh, changing it to on makes it visible in the panel. And then from there, what you want to do is obviously you want to, well, make sure sizing is good, looks great. And then uh, you want to, let's bring that down a touch. All right, cool. Uh, you want to make sure that um, you can see them. So basically you unlock the panel view and you uh, then move that port to whatever position on the screen you'd like to see it. So I like to just put them on the same place, just make it easy. Um, so we're going to make it real simple and group all of the inputs together. 
towards the right hand side and then we're going to group all of the well the one output in this case out to the right hand side but you know putting them in columns and you know where all of these ports are grouped essentially all of the uh, ports are um, you know the inputs are situated towards the left hand side of the columns and the outputs are situated towards the right hand side of the columns so I have it set up in you know hopefully what I what I hope is a somewhat logical flow and now I can use this DT filter so I'll turn this browser off see if I can just flip back into panel mode let's go ahead and save this instrument in my 6.3 you know, definitely my my proper folder. So let me get to library, community, it's blocks, it's instruments, it's six three blocks, it's cyanite. And okay. So we have it saved. And now um I want to use this as the filter for uh the multi-wave. So uh let's send this multi-wave with filter now out to the mixer to input four all right we definitely have sound so we want an envelope uh so this is going to be run through a vca so let's get that set up So let's set the envelope up here towards the beginning. And right, is that what we want to do? Um, and then uh, go ahead and start getting these set up. So gate is going to trigger the envelope. <clears throat> there we go. And envelope will start triggering a, let's trigger the control. Maybe. And then um, let's see if we can go out of the filter into the VCA here. And then let's go out of the mix of the VCA now into the main mixer. Let's change this to a uh, uh, color I like. There we go. Purple. And uh, let's get the levels happening. see if we can duplicate this. And, um, both of them can't go into the filter. So one of them will just maybe have to be unfiltered. Interesting. Let's try it.
Got a hell of an instrument cooking here. continue our build. Keep on going. And on that note, until next time.